Double magic, baby. It's awesome, baby, with a capital line. It's magic, simply magic. Welcome to the Hilton Coliseum, one of the noisiest arenas in college basketball. Looks like Lones have some numbers here in the end. Left wing to Thomas, another three, yes! Back-to-back -back threes by Matt Thomas. Oh, my goodness. Niang. Here we go, Mark. Here we go. I've seen this before. I'm never surprised in this place. Left side, Niang, a three by George. Missing. McKay the rebound. He'll bring it back out, throws it to Morris. Down the lane goes Monte, reverse layup, no. Tipped out by McKay, into the hands of Niang, a three, good! George Niang hits the three! And Iowa State's within one at 71-70, timeout. Oh my goodness, what a play by Jamil McKay to tip it out to an open Niang. Morris floats it up. First lead for the Cyclones since they were up 4-3. Iowa has a timeout. Gotta go. Not gonna use it, Utah. Tip, it's over. Well, Iowa State ends the game on a 9-0 run. And friend, it's just another time where that built magic comes out again. Absolutely. Well, the emojis are running high here, guys. That's because students have been camped out since last Big Monday. That's right, seven days. That just tells you how special this Big 12 season is. People are dying to get in this building and be part of the magic. For the tie. Yes! Morris keeps it himself and goes to Burton and yes! What a huge shot! Giving the Cyclones their first lead of this game. And you know what's happening in the Hilton Coliseum. Loose ball picked up by the Cyclones. Here's Morris two on one. Yes! Nader finishes. Stopping it, that was the hard part. For sure, Morris. Yes, and one. What a night, Monte Morris continuing the attack. We're down to that two minute mark. They're sitting on a 10 point lead. They can kill some seconds now. That's not Niang's game, however, I might ask. <laughs> Well, that might not have been the prettiest drive in the history of basketball, but it's beautiful to everybody in red and gold. Kid just knows how to play, doesn't he? This guy, Chrome, he's an impressive coach. So he's going to describe something very accurately about Chrome. He was never visibly upset over there on that sideline. He just continued to coach away. He was very patient. And of course, that carries over to his team out on the floor. This is a W. And another sloppy play. They have now won four of the last five meetings with Kansas, the Cyclones have. How did you stay in there with such resilience? Um, just poised and trusting our system. You know, Coach Chrome has did a great job these past weeks of getting us back focused and everybody on the same page. So we just trusted him, man, and he's leading us the right way. We turned it around so far. Nader comes baseline and kicks it other direction. Lob to McKay. Good pass by Morris. Jay, this game is starting out to be as good as advertised. And McKay with an offensive rebound. Thomas coming again. 
It's Hilton magic time, folks. Is another number one going down? Burton with a defensive rebound. Hits Morris. Morris breaks free at the other end. Oh, baby, what a game it is. Hilton magic strikes again. Let's go to Holly Rowe. Well, guys, I'm standing by with George Neying. And, George, how important is this win for your team tonight? This was huge for us. You know, a lot of people doubted us here and there. And, you know, we just wanted to show everybody that we're real. And I feel like we did that today. How does the Hilton magic feel right now, George? It's alive and real. It feels great. Thank you. Just another night at the Hilton Coliseum. I put Monte Morris up with the best point guards in America. He is right there with Chris Dunn of Providence, Mello Trimble of Maryland, with Tyler Eulis of Kentucky. He is built without question a top five point guard, without question. George Niang, just an old school skilled player that I think is the toughest matchup in all of college basketball. You put a big guy on him, he'll take him outside, he'll drive him, you put a little guy on him, he'll post and post him all over the floor. Oh, oh, yes! Saw that coming. Oh, man, I got to go 9-9 on this one. Take a look. One hand and the throw down. Uh -oh. What's the thunder meter got? First of all, the precision of a diamond cutter. We'll give it a 9-7, but you better thank your teammate. He put it right on the money. Wow. Oh, yeah. What a look. Niang to McKay and the throw down. Burton whips it around. Nader. Wow. Is he hot? He has been on fire. Cyclones running. Nader pushing down the lane. Left corner. Matt Thomas three. Got it. Matt Thomas hits his fifth three of the game. Thomas throws it out to Niang. He tries to answer with a three, and he does. George Niang, the All-American. When I chose Iowa State, I was looking for a place that could give me everything that I, I wanted as a student athlete and, and a, more importantly, a, a basketball player. But I think this university has given me, and program has given me more than I could ever ask for. This, this was more than a dream come true. Uh, this was better than anything I could have asked for for our college experience. The way uh, the fans have embraced me, um, I couldn't be more thankful. This place is special and uh, I'll forever call Ames home.